It is a watcher run. I think we just choose a card. Uh, 20 more? Um... Taking a break from ringing. I like playing a little bit of Slay the Spire today. Seven. That actually is enough, I think. Nine, twenty-seven, plus eight, thirty-five. Miss dice to strike. Made that crop. Run better than 90% to win from here. And it probably was at the start of the run. Before I got all of the strong things, it probably was. I can take a third eye. I can take a wheel kick or conclude. They are all kind of allowed. can also skip and expect to get more damage from upgrading Flurry and Tantrum and, like, finding any relic in the game. And Eruption, I guess, can also upgrade Eruption. I think one can glue. It's pretty good. Oh, no Bowling Bash. It's gone. Gone as in I can't take it anymore because I took conclude. Uh, yeah. Mm. It's fine. Take an empty body. Take an empty body. You can barely hear me. I get your ears checked. Moderately confident that this is right. Sure looks right when you draw conclude next turn. I don't think this needs a carve reality. I don't think it wants a cut through fate particularly much either. A simple lamp. Thanks for five months. Recently moved cross country for a long distance relationship. This is exciting. Very exciting. I wonder if it's doing the thing where the music is twice as loud again. Yeah, I don't like change. Could be. Power G, thanks for the 44 months. I don't know why it does that, and I can't see anything showing that it's doing that on my end, so like, if it is, I don't fucking know. I don't... I have no... 
I, yeah, I don't know. I think OBS also crashed my computer uh, earlier today. So. OBS is having a real one. I don't remember how to play this character. I want to carve reality against Guardian, maybe? Oh. Probably not. I think I conclude already. With this character, you just deal lethal damage? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's a strong strategy. Ooh, shuriken. Okay, well. That's that thing I said where we could just get any relic and then our damage would be infinite. Now our block is also infinite. What a good character. What a good character. This character is uh, very good at Slay the Spire. I think we are going to be upgrading for defense and like card draw type consistency at this point because we shouldn't need many damage upgrades with the Shuriken already. Should I play Defend? Two Strength, so Strike hits for 16 and Wrath. I don't hate using a Potion. Like, I'm allowed to use a Potion. I'm also at 51 health, I'm allowed to take four. I imagine that it... Oh, I don't know. I think the most it saves me next turn is probably five, and sometimes it doesn't do that, so... Fifteen, sixteen, and twenty-eight. Not enough, right? What about Crescendo? Tantrum Conclude. Is that more? 30, oh, 30 plus 28, well, that's 58, right. did I do the math wrong? 31 plus 28 is 59, I did do the math wrong. He's coming in! Probably into a mental fortress over an omniscience. Omniscience is good. Omniscience currently hits not very much. It's like only talk to the hand. Also, it feels like I kind of need upgrades for it. I, I just take a mental fortress, I think.
nice chameleon. Hope you're enjoying Slay the Spire. Nine, twenty-one, twenty-nine, thirty-nine. Could find to attack potion here. Nine, twenty-one, twenty-nine. Eighteen, thirty. When will I become a VTuber? What if I'm a VTuber already? Don't look now, but VTube Jorbs is right behind you. Our outcome's probably fine. Take an indignation for some vulnerable. I don't generally hate being able to make things vulnerable. It's 12 plus 14. It's an optimistic arc alchem, isn't it? With talk to the hand and mental fortress. Not very likely to do very much. I don't think I need sands here. Actual cannibal VTuber Jorbs. How the hell is that guy? Shia LaBeouf. I haven't heard much about Shia LaBeouf recently. Not the best turn. Am I doing anything about it? I don't think so. I think it's just a bad turn. Alright. Ow. We made it through Act 1, successfully. These are not the Watcher Rares that you hope to be offered. I don't think I'll be taking any. Weak Potion. Probably not better than current potions. It's honestly not that bad. But I think my current ones are very good. I'll take a Runic Pyramid. Nice. Still not failed to lose with Watcher Streak. I am. Hey, Benjamin Bolton. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you could catch me live. Uh, there are a lot of elites through here, and also there's a shop with, like, 500 gold or something. That seems pretty good. I don't know what to do. I think 
I can just double defend next turn. It's only 11. And we can set up to kill the turn after. <laughs> Not taking two plus hours to kill a boss. True. Uh, does this deal 87? Let's find out. It's four, eight. Um, play eruption. 17. I have one strength. Uh, 10 from Flurry. How much energy do I have? Here I have one energy. Alright, now here I have two energy. One energy. Well, I have Miracle though, so two energy. That's Flurry again. All I have is Strike and Tantrum left. Strike with plus one strength is 14, 31, 41. Tantrum, 71. Doesn't kill. I don't think. The only thought would be, could I play Crescendo as well? I don't see it. Because I only have... Four energy worth of attacks, right? Wait, I should be able to then. Start with four energy, vigilance is neutral. So I can't play crescendo. Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> start with four energy, four damage from flurry. We play vigilance, we play flurry, four damage. We play Crescendo, which leads to playing Flurry again for 8 damage. Uh, at this point, we have 3 energy. Uh, we have plus 1 strength. We play Strike for 14. We play Eruption for 20. And we play Tantrum for... You know, I only have one strength. I counted it as 30, but I don't have two strength. Um, 32. 32 enough? Looks like it. Delicious, delicious tantrum upgrade. <laughs> I could take tranquility over talk to the hand, maybe. And crescendo plus. I kind of need commenters. Yep, gonna do it. Uh, so here's the deal. Currently I have seven upgrades from Great Strikes Defense, which is great. However, my defense don't do anything, and I'm going to remove all of them from the deck by the end of the run. And probably, probably, I'll be removing at least two strikes as well. So, we will just take the single card remove, I guess. Interesting. I might use this here.
the game is somewhat good. There are some interesting decisions on that for sure. So yeah, I still have no sustain. I only have 28 health right now. That would be the thing that might kill me. Could probably use another flurry just to make sure I actually have damage. I kind of want to bury in a bottle. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we take Wallop. You could never take anything over Talk to the Hand. Talk to the Hand's okay, it's not that good. Belchicola! I kinda have to do that off this starting hand, I think. Otherwise, too likely I just die this turn. Oh no, I took a damage. There's a talk to my hand. next turn or something like it, I imagine. Hey Magishu, how are you? White Beast statue seems relevant to my current interests as I'm completely open potion belts. Lead off today. I'm sorry to hear that. Crescent method. Lost a bunch in a row recently. I mean, I'll try to win some. No promises. Interact with establishment, it does not. Pyramid makes you skip your discard phase, it doesn't make you retain cards. They look like they are the same thing, but they are slightly different. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's a reason to go left, really. I have a bag of prep as well now. It just feels kind of risky. I'm 
just gonna play the rest of the act extremely, extremely, extremely safe. OBS can't handle 240 frame per second spire. You think that's a problem? <laughs> I would not have guessed that that was the problem. Victory! I don't, don't want to play Apparition. Probably playing Crescendo here. allowed to use stance potion, but I'd kind of prefer not to. Still haven't lost his watcher now. Well, not in my life, but still haven't lost his watcher in quite a while. I am certainly allowed to take a mental fortress here. Do I want to? Not really. I have two, uh, two more operations to upgrade. I already have one mental fortress, one talk to the hand. I have a wallop into Meditate as well, into Shuriken. I just go Empty Mind here with Starting Calm. I don't think I die on turn one almost ever, even against Slavers. I think it would be... Very, very remarkable if I died there. Six, twelve, thirty, twenty three, twenty four, Maybe a crescendo before eruption. Math again. So we go flurry. Eruption gives us another 11. 17, then we flurry. Also, I have four energy off eruption. Flurry is hitting for 12 at that point, 29. We wallop, which is hitting for 24, 33, 53. And we vigilance, and we get to flurry one more time for 7. Oh, that's exact. Okay. That was without crescendo, right? I deal 6, I deal 11, I deal 12, 
Yes, it does work. All right, cool. Trying to make me weak. The fools. Uh, my cat's yelling at me, and I'm not sure why. But I think I'm going to attempt the strategy of following him to whatever he's yelling at me about, and maybe then he'll stop. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's noticeably still looking at me. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> I am now kind of into you having another mental fortress. Let's take another mental fortress. I don't have any calms. Well, I made my deck stronger. Nice membership card pickup right before a question mark shop as well. Or not, uh, smiling mask rather. Sorry, membership card was in the shop, so it's what I said. Primary attribute in Zephyr's build. Uh, strength, I think. Zephyr is strength maxing. What about you, chap? What is your build in life? Do you think Sunny is arcane focused? Maybe. I think she's dex focused. I think she's like a fairly standard rogue build. Is this twenty seven? Probably with so little calm in my deck, push down is not actually a very good card at the moment. Very little calm and runic paramount. Uh, yeah, I can lesson learned, I suppose. The other ones aren't great. Wish is a lot less exciting than it might 
Those are always B because shuriken means the strength half of it doesn't matter that much. And uh, smiling mask means the gold half of it doesn't matter that much. I guess there's also plated armor. Well, the third half of it that gives plated armor is okay. <laughs> Doesn't usually come up very often. So you give me a 10 card starting hand. I guess Astrolabe. Maybe Coffee Dripper, actually, because my energy is so bad. Well, if my energy is bad, I probably want Holy Water, not Coffee Dripper. The thing is, resting doesn't do very much, so is one energy per turn maybe just better? With Runic Pyramid and a Bag of Prep, I feel like it might be. I'll go Coffee Dripper. I'm at work, Zephyr. I am earning your kibbles. Please do not yowl at me anymore. Good. Ooh. Version upgrade's great too. I don't think that I really care for an entropic brew. These potions seem good. ended up not being too bad. I was very, uh, very down on it when I picked it up. But because of the apparitions, it's actually pretty regularly mattering. I care about finding one more um, column entry, probably, and that might be about it. I'm go for madness. I actually could. I just have very little max HP, so it's a bit iffy. But it would solve the problem in quotation marks of how this deck wins after it's dealt 1200 damage and being invincible for four turns. <laughs> Madness coincides with your real life belt? Nice. Establishment also works because I already have a Meditate. 
Sounds like establishment interviews. Fear no evil. Also, just win anyway. Like, I don't even need them. I just don't need them. Let's lose two max HP. I don't know what that says, but thank you to Necrop. Percent. 76%. Can the... I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the two months. Hope you're doing well. And it's all rotating. Uh-huh. Always have been. I meant to enter right there. Don't think I care. Ooh, another flurry. Down for another flurry. I think my damage was probably already good, but this gets it to a point where it's no longer in any doubt. Mm, Dark Land potentially curses me. Oh, wait. I guess I won't play that yet. What's the chance that Slay the Spire to you is just because the devs don't want retain cards to go to the right with Pyramid anymore, and there was no way to do that in Slay the Spire 1? Maybe I should have thought slightly more before doing the things that I've done. Okay, good. Hatsu! Thanks for the 10 months. Hope you're doing well. Another Entropic Brew. Still don't really want it. Transform two defense and two vaults at the whale before. That is hyper specific enough that I probably have never done that. In fact, I'm relatively confident I have never done that. I've done a lot of things in Slay the Spire, but probably not that one. That's getting pretty granular. Will Claw Bill still be viable in the Slay the Spire 2? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've been uh I've been working with my team to ensure that that's the case. Got a little lobbying super pack going on. Claw will actually be buffed, it will be five times as strong as it is right now. There will be no more intangible in the game, and also Jawworm is nerfed.
It's on F2 B, thanks to the 37 months. Appreciate it. It's an inner piece. That's the one I needed. I assume I have too many cards, actually. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. So like I, I'm not gonna be infinite because I have too many cards, but it just doesn't matter because I will have enough to win. It matters against this enemy, though. It's like the one place in the game where that actually matters. I'm not going to get an upgrade with Lesson Learned. Yep, all the things we know are gone and replaced with other things. Uh, I don't. They made a really good game. I don't think they need to make it completely different. No reason to do that. I'm sure they will make some changes and I'm sure they will be good changes, but I don't have to fix things that aren't broken. Fourth character is playable in Jawworm, not defect. Well, that's exciting. You're mostly interested in the graphics? Nice, nice. Close to this lesson learned working. I might have got there. All right. Why be infinite when just have shuriken? I could take another flurry. I talk to hands and two mental fortresses. Mental fortresses are not currently upgraded though. Fall up. I guess I also have a bunch of apparitions. Sure. Seems fine. Potential battle animations got you excited. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, I've played a lot of games that will like Slay the Spire in the last five years. Uh, my biggest hope is that it's like Slay the Spire. <laughs> I'm sure it will. But I'm not really a person who's like, gee, Slay the Spire was really missing some stuff. I hope they add that. Kill the other ones. Look, none of this matters, let's be real. Uh I think it's missing romanceable companions. Ooh, it would be interesting if it does like a story like Hades, right? Hades has the run-based gameplay, but it also has NPCs with a developing story around them. That'd be kinda cool. 
I wonder. At some point, the smoke bomb is probably not good anymore. Romanceable whale. I'm kind of into this idea. Jawworm. I've been romancing Jawworm for uh, quite a while at this point myself. Do you think Jawworm's flirting? Is that why it deals so much damage to me? Maybe it's flirting. Good play thing, right? Yeah. Meditate plus. I already have one, and I have a conclude. I'm not gonna end up getting all of the upgrades, but we got quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Missing. So yeah. Definitely not getting all of them. Flurry of Blues is a pretty good card. You just don't want to draw zero apparitions, I guess is the problem. Look at I'm down for another. This seems fine. Next run will be not Jern. Meditate upgrades. I didn't even really think about the fact that I had um, calipers with all the apparitions. But that's actually pretty strong. Ooh, bunch of money. Sure, I'll take another talk to the hand then. There will be a cat girl character and slay the spire too. I don't think that is the priority of the devs. Would I save scum if I wasn't a streamer? A lot of things would be very different if I wasn't a streamer. I would probably not be playing Silas Fire. I have played uh, over 9,000 hours of this game. Also, though, uh, no. Uh, I do not generally enjoy saves coming in games that I play. Part of it is that I enjoy the start of games a lot more than the end of games. So when I lose in a game, I'm like, yay, I get to start again. Instead of, you know, 
whatever the other thing is. People who want to save scum, save scum, I think. I don't really understand the mindsets. So I don't even want to pretend that I get it. She does kind of deal damage to this character. I never work out what this song means. Have I asked the Slay the Spire devs when the last time they played Slay the Spire once? I think probably in the life of Casey or Anthony, that question doesn't make much sense. I'm pretty sure that they like begin each day by answering emails about Slay the Spire. Does that count as playing Slay the Spire? I don't But I don't think that they have, like, days of their life that are meaningfully separate from the Slay of the Spire. I don't think that's a thing that they get as the devs and understaffed support crew of one of the most famous games in the world. They destroy an actual spire in order to do research for the spire development. Yeah, and they made sure that the statute of limitations was under 15 years. Um, was that a no damage act? <laughs> I mean, look, let me level with you. I wasn't paying any attention, but probably. <laughs> so, I think so. The sixty-one months. DC is going to daylight savings thing, huh? It is about time. I lost two max HP. There. I don't know, probably this one. Remove something that isn't helping anymore. Conclude seems kind of bad. He was Amboning. Thanks for 37 months. Uh, yeah, I think we do this because we want to be able to just hatch our next turn, probably. Oh, well, that'll, that'll do.
has Tang responded to Entangable being a Slay the Spire mechanic? Feels oddly targeted. First deck building collectible card game with maximum player life. Oh, I don't think it would have been Hearthstone. I think that that's something that you end up with when you are building a PvP game as a way to make the games not take forever. And Hearthstone was certainly an early online PvP game, but there would have been something before it, I assume. I don't know what, though. What a centric thanks for the two years! Appreciate it. Ow. Ow. I drew an apparition. Probably win them. Establishment's fun. YouTube jobs wouldn't have lost life there. I think he would have. <laughs> I think he will. See when he plays the seed. Yeah. Yeah, we will. That is, I would say, probably the end of the run. Dupe Jorbs plays in silence? No music? That makes more sense. Easier to focus that way. I should try that. And then I should stop talking. And then also I should stop clicking the cards. Because... Clicking the cards uh, could lead to me making a mistake. It's not going to be the most enjoyable stream experience, but I don't know. We'll give it a go, yeah. It's weird how much I talk about YouTube Jorbs, given that YouTube Jorbs doesn't talk about me. Hmm. Not a good point. I guess I will record a short for this. I don't have my camera on though. But it feels like keeping the shorts going for. We won! We won as Watcher again. I didn't actually. This might actually. I don't know. It's over, right? I have a lot of strength from Shuriken. This was a Watcher run. Um, that's kind of my entire thoughts on the run. We got Flurry and Tantrum and Empty Buddy and Crescendo and Talk to the Hand and Mental Fortress. I guess the interesting thing was it took a while to find calm entries, and especially with Runic Pyramid at the end of Act 1, I was kind of cramped for energy. Ended up with four Flurry Blows and a Shuriken. GG.
one of you watch your runs off all time. I think that's 24 now? I don't even know. I guess my landing says. 24! Nice. See anything nice about TikTok jorbs? I have some TikToks. I uploaded these YouTube shorts to TikToks for a bit. I have not done that in a long time. 